Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast, which happens to be number 415 and also the last for the month of May. Next month is June, obviously, always comes after May, as far as I know. And um, the next episode is going to be out of place for World War One, or it's not going to be in World War One, like I mentioned. It's going to be um, Mr. Puckett, who just received his Medal of Honor, but uh, just just so I don't get behind with uh, current recipients, and then we'll go back into World War One. So I have one birthday to go over today. It's the last birthday for the month of May, and it's actually today. Today's birthday is May thirtieth, nineteen forty-one. Robert Foley turns 80 years old. He is a former lieutenant general from the U.S. Army who earned his Medal of Honor through his actions during the Vietnam War. I did cover Mr. Foley. I covered his story back on number 307. I'll have a link in the show notes for you to go check that out. A very happy birthday goes out to Mr. Robert Foley. Happy 80th birthday, sir. That's all I have for the month of May birthdays and... uh, I guess that's all I have for today. So let's get into today's Tale of Honor. Chester was born on the 3rd of January, 1888, in Fort Collins, Colorado, and when he enlisted in the U.S. Army, he was in California. He was deployed to Europe in support of the Great War, and his actions in France on the 26th of September, 1918, earned him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads... While making his way through a thick fog with his automatic rifle section, his advance was halted by direct and unusual machine gun fire from two guns. Without aid, he at once dashed through the fire and, attacking the nest, killed two of the gunners, one of whom was an officer. This prompt and decisive hand-to-hand encounter on his part enabled his company to advance farther without the loss of a man. Chester was a first sergeant at the time of his actions with Company D, 363rd Infantry, 91st Division. He was first married to Rose in 1912, which ended in divorce in less than four years, and then married Maggie in 1932, who had two children from a previous marriage. They had moved to Ohio, and Chester got a job working as a farmhand for the son of a Civil War Confederate general. On the 20th of May, 1935, Chester and Sam McCausland had a dispute that ended with Chester being shot. Chester Howard West was transported to the hospital where he died and Sam was arrested and convicted of second-degree murder. Chester was buried in his wife's family cemetery in Southside, West Virginia, but the cemetery was lost when it became part of the Chief Cornstalk Wildlife Management Area in the 1970s. An unsuccessful attempt to find his grave was made in 2012, but in 2015, Derek Jackson, a Boy Scout that was working on an Eagle Scout service project, successfully found the site. Chester was reinterred with full military honors in the Donnell C. Kennard Memorial State Veterans Cemetery in Institute, West Virginia, Section 2, Row 4, Grave 150. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.